Hi students, I'm Abhishek from Vidaru and today's session I'm going to discuss average. So I'm going to teach you the smartest, simplest and the shortest method for solving average base questions. So if you like the video, please press the like button for sure, share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and while subscribing, make sure that you press the bell icon also because that motivates us, that helps us understand that you are liking our content. As you can see that this is a complete English medium video so that our students from South India, our students from Telangana, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, they should not face any problem at all. Even students from Northeast, they should not have any concern. That is why a complete English medium video. So what you have to do is watch the video till the end because that's how you are going to learn all the concepts. That's how we are going to increase the level of our questions also. So let's get started. Let's look at the first question just read it uh, with me upon scoring 98 runs in the 19th match what happens average average score of a batsman average score of a batter goes up by four so in the 19th match he scores what he scores 98 runs the average goes up by four his average score after 19 matches is so what is the average after 19 matches so first up, I'm going to teach you the traditional method, the long uh, method which students generally use, which students generally, you know, employ while solving questions in the exam. And that is not helpful. I'm going to teach you the shortcut in a moment's time. But let me tell you what is the normal method which is used by students. So 18 matches, 18 matches have been played. Let's consider, let's consider that the average of these the average score in these 18 matches was x the average score in these 18 matches was x my way will not be assuming x and y but the traditional method will take x sure so what is the total score in these 18 matches the total score becomes 18 x because matches are 18 and per match the average is x so the total runs he scores is 18 x now what happens in the 19th innings he scores 98 runs so 98 gets added in the total score 98 gets added in the total score and students now what happens now you know that we have how many matches we have 19 matches so we divide by 19 the total score is 18 x plus 98 it gets divided by the number of matches which is now 19 and the average the average now increases by 4. The average earlier was x. So now the average will be x plus 4. Obviously now the average will be x plus 4. So now it's a linear equation. We need to solve 18x plus 98 is equal to 19 into x plus 4. Sure. So 18x plus 98 students. It will be 19x plus 19 fours are 76. So we have x, x is equal to students what? Because uh, this 18x will move to the other side. We are left with x and 98 minus 76. That is what? That is 22. So 22 was the average earlier. Now what is the average? After 19 matches, the average has increased by 4. So 22 plus 4, it becomes 26. The answer is 26. But that's not how you solve a question. The purpose gets defeated in the exam. You don't have that much time, you know, to assume X and Y and to come up with a linear equation and to keep solving it. That's not Vidya Guru's method. We will be teaching you the smartest methods. So now let's arrive at this answer in the smartest method in the shortest possible method. Let's see. So students, you already know what this question is about. So think of it like this. In the 19th match, in the 19th match, what has he scored? He has made a score of 98. In the 19th match, he has made a score of 98. Of course, the 18 matches he played earlier, earlier 18. In the 18 matches he played earlier, there was some average. There was some average. But the important information is that when he scores 98, what happens? The average increases by 4. 
that means student this score 98 this score 98 is now much higher than the average this score 98 is much higher than the average that is how this 98 will increase the average by 4 so what happens 4 the average increases by 4 that means the score of 98 actually donates 4 donates 4 to each of these 18 matches in each of these 18 matches the score the average score increases by 4 sure so in this score of 98 what happens in this score of 98 we have an extra component we have an extra component which will increase the average so what is the extra component these 18 matches these 18 matches are getting increased their average is getting increased by 4 so what is the total contribution the total contribution towards increasing the average towards increasing the average of these 18 matches is very simple 18 into 4 18 into 4 that means 72 so when he scored 98 when he scored 98 what happened this 72 students this 72 went into this 72 went into increasing the average score of these 18 matches sure so what is the average now this 72 i told you went into increasing the average score of the past 18 matches so the average now is very simple 98 minus 72 that means 26 so students average now average now after 19 matches is 20 six that's how logically you solve it that's how simple it is if you follow this logical approach so if you like our logical smart approach call upon the numbers which are given on your screen because that way you will be able to connect with our representatives and you will be able to become a part of vidya guru so you can join our live online classes you can join our video courses and we provide study material as well and believe me, once you get all that, our live classes, our video coaching, you don't require anything else that will ensure that you get the selection. Anyway, let's move to the, to the next question. What you have to do for sure is uh, watch the video till the end because towards the end, I'm going to give you a practice question. I'm going to give you a practice question as the assignment and you have to provide the answer to that practice question in the comment box. In the next video on averages, I'm going to give you the explanation, the solution of that practice question and it's a higher level question so you'll enjoy doing it it will tickle your brain cells do not forget to attend that question give me the answer in the comment box let's increase the difficulty level now average temperature from wednesday to saturday in a given week is 35 degrees now i'm going to stick to only my smart methods no long methods sure so the average temperature from thursday to sunday is 30 degrees Temperature on Wednesday is 50% more than the temperature on Sunday. The temperature on Sunday has to be found out. So Wednesday to Saturday, how many days do we have? Students, we have a total of four days. So four days, the average is what? The average is 35. So what is the total? The total of the temperature readings from Wednesday to Saturday will be 35 into 4. It will be what? It will be 1. 40 sure similarly similarly i can find out the total of the temperature readings from thursday to sunday so thursday to sunday again how many days do we have we have four days but now the average students now the average is what the average is 30 the average has dropped down to 30 so the total will also come down for these four days the total comes down it becomes 120 but there is something very peculiar there is something common some days are common between these two sets between these two brackets and i want to remove those common days because when i remove those common days think of the common days what are the common days thursday friday and saturday these three days are there in both the brackets so when i subtract when I subtract what happens students, I am left with only Wednesday and Sunday. So I will be subtracting Thursday to Sunday. 
this particular total i'll be subtracting this particular total from wednesday to saturday so wednesday minus sunday wednesday minus sunday so 120 gets subtracted from 140 so i'm left with 20 that means wednesday minus sunday is 20 wednesday's temperature wednesday's temperature is uh, greater than sunday's temperature by 20 degree celsius sure we have been given the relationship further we have to find out the temperature on sunday we have been given that the temperature on wednesday is 50 percent more temperature on wednesday is 50 percent more 50 percent students 50 percent is what 50 percent is 1 by 2 50 percent means 1 by 2 the temperature on wednesday is 50 percent more so if now listen to me very carefully students if sunday's temperature is two parts if sunday's temperature is two parts wednesday's temperature is one part more it is 50 percent more 50 percent in the inner ratio is what one upon two so if sunday's temperature is two units wednesday's temperature will be one unit more than that will be one unit more than that that means wednesday's temperature will be three units three parts so three parts and two parts basically what happens three parts is the temperature on three parts is the temperature on wednesday very simple ratio proportion three parts is the temperature on wednesday two parts is the temperature on sunday so what is the difference the difference is one part yes the temperature on sunday is lower one part is equal to one part is equal to what one part is equal to 20 because students we had already calculated that the temperature on wednesday is 20 degrees more so this difference of one part this difference of one part is equal to what 20 degrees so the difference is 20 degrees the temperature on sunday students the temperature on sunday is what the temperature on sunday is two parts so two parts becomes what two parts become 40 degrees so the answer is very simple 40 degrees that's how you calculate these seemingly difficult questions i did not assume any x i did not assume any y no variables now let's look at the final question for today and that's again a wonderful question prefect of a class of 11 students is 25 year old the monitor is three years older than the prefect so the prefect's age has been given and from that we can find out the age of the monitor also if ages of these two are removed the average age of other students is one year less than the average age of the whole class again i'm going to be very very concise i'm going to use the smartest method not the long method average age of the whole class has to be found out now let's see seems to be a difficult question let's make it simple let's look at the explanation now what happens students the prefect's age is given to us the prefect's age is what the prefect's age is uh, 25 short and then we have what then we have the monitor's age the monitor's age is what the monitor's age is three years more so 25 plus 3 it becomes what it becomes 28 so we have how many we have a total of 11 students in the class so the class includes the prefect the class includes the monitor and the class includes other nine students other nine students sure now what happens if you remove if you remove the prefect and the monitor what is the total impact their total age is what students their total age is 53 their total age is 53 now Think of this 53. This 53 is supplying some more years, some extra years. When you remove this 53, what happens? The average drops for the rest of the nine students, the other nine students. The average decreases by one. That means one year. One year for each of these nine. One year for each of these nine was being provided. Was being provided in this 53 this 53 was supplying nine extra years was supplying nine extra years over and above the average over and above the average sure so 
students the nine extra years were being provided in this 53 so what is the breakup of this 53 think of it now think of it logically what is the breakup of these 53 22 was the average so 22 for the prefect 22 for the monitor and students nine years went into nine years went into what nine years went into increasing the average of the other nine that is the important part that is the logical part how did i arrive at 22 it is fairly logical nine extra years are being provided in this 53 so what happens what is the breakup of this 53 the average is now 22 so 22 of the prefect 22 of the monitor that is the average age now and nine years nine years so that the others can also come to the average of 22 so students that is the average the average is 22 the answer is very simple option b and now i'm going to give you a practice question for, and that is the assignment note down this question very carefully i'm going to give you the solution the explanation of this question in the next video that's a promise but in the comment section you have to provide me with the answer to this question take a pick carefully and if you like the videos if you like our content please share it with your friends please like our videos so that we also get motivated god bless you